Hi everyone, let's solve one differentiation related problem where it's given that y is equal to log of x plus root of x square plus 1. We'll have to show that this particular expression is equal to 0. Now if you notice in this expression there is y2 and y1. So what does y2 indicate? It indicates double differentiation and y1 indicates it is single differentiation. So y2 is nothing but d square y by dx square and uh, y1 is dy by dx. That means we'll have to differentiate once and whatever expression we get after differentiating once, we'll have to differentiate it again for the second time. And then final answer should be equal to this particular expression. So we have y is equal to log of this particular expression. Now what is a derivative of log of x? Derivative of log of x is nothing but 1 by x. Just forget this particular expression for a minute, right? Just forget this. Assume that it is only x, right? Assume that it is only x or t. So what is log of, what is dy by dx of uh, log x? It's going to be 1 by x. So we will have to write write this as y is equal to 1 by instead of x, what do we have? x plus this entire expression we will have to copy, right? So this is the expression. Now we will have to use the chain rule because this is a composite function. There is an expression within an expression. So we will have to, we will have to differentiate the expression inside, right? So now what do you have inside x? So what is dy by dx of x? dy by dx of x is 1 right we have 1 and then what is dy by dx of root of x square plus 1 so dy by dx of root of x is 1 by 2 root x correct so now you have assume that this is root of x so what you will get 1 plus because you have plus sign here plus 1 by 2 root of instead of x you have x square plus 1 now you will again continue the chain Again, you will differentiate this expression inside. It is x square plus 1. So, what is what is uh, dy by dx of x square? It is 2x. Right? It is 2x. Because dy by dx of x to the power n is n into x to the power n minus 1. So, we have x square here. Right? So, instead of x square, we will get 2x. Right? So, we have differentiated this. Let's, let's try to simplify this. We are going to get 1 plus x plus root of x square plus 1 we will simplify this so 2 and 2 will get cancelled right and then we will be we will take the lcm so we are going to get root of x square plus 1 plus 1 into x is x by root of x square plus 1 basically we have taken lcm as root of x square plus 1 or you can cross multiply right either of that you can cross multiply this with this right and then and you assume that there is already a 1 here, you cross multiply 1 with this, right? So, now, this is nothing but y1, right? Once you differentiate, this is going to be y1. Differentiate. So, you are going to get y1 here. Now, this and this will get cancelled. x plus root of x square plus 1, this will get cancelled. So, you are left with y1 is equal to 1 by root of x square plus 1. So, we are going to get y1 is equal to 1 by root of x square plus 1. So, we will take this here, right? So, what we are going to get? y1 into root of x square plus 1 is equal to 1. So, this is, say, equation 1. Now, we will differentiate this again. Differentiate again with respect to x. Because we need to double differentiate. Only if you double differentiate, you are going to get y2. We need y2 here, right? So, when you differentiate this again, you are going to get, now, this is, you have to apply the product rule, right? it is y1 into root of x, x square plus 1. So, you have to apply the product rule. So, what does the product rule say? You have to first take the first expression y1 into d, d by dx of root of x square plus 1 plus now you take root of x square plus 1 into dy by dx. That is d square y by dx square of this one. That is nothing but, this is nothing but y2. So, this is equal to 1. And what is dy by dx of 1? It's a constant. So, it's going to be 0. Right? dy by dx of a constant of this number is 0. So, what do we get now? We'll just uh, rewrite this. y1 into root of x. You have to get the derivative of root of x square plus 1. So, root of x is 1 by 2 root of x square plus 1. Now, we'll have to apply the chain rule because there is an expression within an expression. So, derivative of x square is 2x. Right? Now, we will go to the next one, root of x square plus 1. 
d square y by dx square is nothing but y2 right now we'll cancel 2 and 2 here so what do we get we get y1 by root of x square plus 1 into x plus root of x square plus 1 into y2 is equal to 0 now what we will do is we'll take lcm or we'll do cross multiplication right and further simplify this so let's take lcm lcm would be root of x square plus 1 this will be y1 into x plus this is going to be root of x square plus 1 so this is going to be root of x square plus 1 into root of x square plus 1 and then we have y2 right you, you can either cross multiply right so assume that there is a one year cross multiply like this or you can take lcm so now we'll get we'll get y1 into x plus root of x square plus 1 into root of x square plus 1 is nothing but x square plus 1 itself right root and root will get cancelled so into y2 by root of x square plus 1 is equal to 0 so now let's take this to the right hand side so this is going to become 0 when this goes to the other side so it's going to be y1x plus x square plus 1 into y2 is equal to 0 so this is the expression right this is what we want right what do we have to prove we have to show that x square plus 1 into y2 plus x into y1 is equal to 0 so we can rearrange this right it's the same thing right it's the same thing so we'll just rearrange it x square plus 1 into y2 plus x into y1 is equal to 0 so so this is the answer so we have proved hence proved